There are a lot of things that I describe as magic. Mayonnaise? That's magic. Radio waves? That's magic. Turning one of your classmates into a frog? Now that's definitely magic. Shout out to the wizarding folk over at Spiffin' Moore College. They're not so different from you and me. Students are reminded to have the time of their lives. Janitor required in lecture theatre.
you've taken your medication because it's time for the Harris show here on Two Point Radio, and it's going to be a wild ride. It's me, Harrison Wolf, the voice of freedom screaming into a thankless night. It's going to be a huge show today, so I'm going to eat a big old sandwich. Let's power up and power on. Sleep is important, but you can do it later.
Did you see that Bungle launched another rocket into space the other day? I'm sure they'll tell you that it's important work. But what I want to know is why don't they try something a little funkier? I mean, how many times do we have to do the same old bunch of astronaut things? Why not send up a load of sandwiches? Or a robot? Or that angry badger that lives in my garden? Because it doesn't fit with their agenda. That's why. Now taking students for dark art. The timetable is not written in stone. Still, we're not changing it. Skills are not transferable. to be inspirational.
I've forgotten what this segment was going to be about. Do you ever just forget what you were going to say? Thoughts are like frogs, and sometimes they just hop away. But they know what they're doing. If I still knew, we'd never have had this moment. It feels right. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Here's a song. Students are reminded to set reminders. Stupid questions will make you look stupid. Cheesy gubbins are back. Where did they go? Nowhere. Cheesy gubbins. The only thing you can count on. Students are reminded to be in two places at once.
hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. Harrison Wolf bringing you unfiltered content on Two Point Radio. I don't have an editor on my show. Why? Because editors. Change what you say. They can make me say, hey everyone, come to my house and take my petunias. But I'd never say that outside of this specific example. It's gotta be natural, man. Give me juice with the pulp and give me cheese with the wax on. This is Radio O Natural. It's al fresco. It's al dente. Oh yeah. Students are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. should be checked in and then removed immediately. I was watching some of that cheesy gubbins show the other day. You know, the cheesy goblins? 
Man, was I confused. What's their deal? Do they grow the gubbins? Are they trying to find them or mine them or something? I tell you, kids must be pretty smart these days to follow such a complex show. Tip of the hat to any kids listening along. Janitor to maintain lectern. Thank you. Some expressions are more than a little strange, like getting up on the wrong side of the bed. What are you talking about? If you're having a lousy day, there's no need to vilify half of your mattress, my man. Jeez, just have a bagel or something. There's enough negativity in the world. Janitor needed in library.
students are reminded that I'm not your mum. Announcement, not a real announcement. It's the end of today's show. But don't worry, every ending is the opportunity for you to, you know, go and do something else. When life flushes the toilet, it starts showing a cool movie at that theater downtown. So have a good one, my friends. See you next time. Students are reminded to find themselves. questions. No, I will not be your friend.
trusting you. Students are asked not to ask questions. This is Campus Radio, and I'm your host, Felicity Bellbottoms. Speculation continues to build over that smell in the lecture theatre. But what should you believe? Did someone really stuff a block of cheddar under one of the seats? Or is it haunted? The answer may surprise you. Hard work may or may not pay off. End of year results are now available. No unauthorized panicking. The academic year is now over.
administrative bonuses. It's time for a book review. Over to Maggie, who's been reading the memoirs of Two Point Radio's longest tenured DJ. This week, I've been reading A Life on the Waves by Ricky Hawthorne. Oh, so good. Really, really good. Because I didn't know before actually, that he spent so much time at sea. Or, well, near any water, really, and that's just super interesting. Announcement. The campus just got bigger. Not necessarily better. The renovation of a library might sound like a good thing, but here's Hugh to tell us why it's actually quite sad. Hey, 
here in Smogley, students have been looking forward to the renovation of the old campus library. The carpet is plush and the study areas are dressed with kettles and bean bags. The library is alive and bustling, but the old bookcases are left on the outside looking in. Yes, three old bookcases stand on the lawn outside the library, a monument to a past that's now over. Spare a thought for them as you enjoy a sleek, frictionless library experience. Intruders on campus, oh no. I'm Ricky Hawthorne. I don't remember being a student, but I'm sure it happened. People ask me all the time, Ricky, what would you eat if you were a student? And I say, anything from the crumbly student range. It's cheap, it's inexpensive, and above all else, it's affordable. used to make. Thank you. 
questions. No, I'm not seeing your frog. is not a belief system. There we have it. It's being reported that that smell in the lecture theatre was, indeed, a large piece of cheese. The staff was seen retrieving the putrid wedge in a hazmat suit, though this particular source has been known to exaggerate. We can only hope the smell dissipates and our community can breathe deeply and cheeselessly once again. Attention. Your finger is not a toothbrush. Education is non refundable.
The more you revise, the longer you've been revising. asked questions. No, you can't have an extension. to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. You're listening to Two Point Radio. This is Ricky Hawthorne. It's a few minutes past something. We'll check on those numbers while you listen to some music. Visitors should be checked in and then removed immediately. Thank you. 
staff are reminded to care about students. It's funny how your routines can change after all these years. Lately, I've been enjoying a bowl of hog logs in the morning. It's true what they say in the advert. There just wasn't enough pig in my morning. This next song is for the hog log lady. Students are reminded that I'm not your mum. Stupid questions will make you look stupid. Skills are not transferable. Recently, while walking home, I was chased into a tree by a group of students barking like dogs. I went into a primal state of self-preservation, hissing at them like a feral cat. I've learned since that it was some kind of initiation for a society. Oh, I suppose now that I know it was a joke, I can see the funny side. Ha, young people, eh? 
the terrifying scamps. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. Tuition fees may be spent on administrative bonuses. Cheesy Gubbins. One big gubbin. Out of your dreams and into your mouth. Tuition fees are expensive and education is priceless.
adults are reminded to have the time of their lives. You're listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Here's the weather. Things are looking cold on the pointy mountains. You might want to wear a second pair of shoes. I suppose skis are technically a second pair of shoes. What they lack in terms of providing warmth, they make up for by being a lot like very thin toboggans. Play that music. Students are asked not to ask questions.
I recently joined an amateur plumbing club. Oh, it's a lot of fun. The pipes, the tools, the rush when you blow a valve. The competitive element is one thing.
but it's also great training for when something goes wrong at home. After all, with the right attitude and a little experience, there's no problem you can't make worse. Janet needed in library. The timetable has now been published. Schedule your lives accordingly. Welcome, new students. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. are reminded that you came here on purpose. In the news today, pop star Jasmine Odyssey has everybody talking after sharing an image of a spatula. Fans are debating whether this latest post is a cryptic suggestion of music to come or simply a kitchen-based mistake. It's hard to say, but what is clear is that we'll be discussing it for days. Intruders on campus, you know what to do.
not pay off. That's the end of our show, but I'll be back tomorrow to do it all over again. Here's to that. Here's to time's relentless advance. Here's to you, Two Point County. Playing us out, we've got an absolute firecracker. Good night. This is a test announcement, not a real announcement. that there's no such thing as free time.
there's a fly in here. talking on campus. Thank you. Asked questions. No, your chicken should not be pink. to Campus Radio. I'm Maggie Watmore, and I didn't realise I was hosting today's show until five minutes ago. It's OK. I'm sure we'll be fine. I haven't done a show without my notes before, but that doesn't bother me at all. Plagiarism is not a belief system.
security breach, please change your passwords. Sorry. This next story is about a shed, apparently. That's all I've got. Here to tell us more is you. That's right, the groundskeeper's shed appears to have moved some two to three meters overnight. Of course, as an inanimate object, the sudden move has come as somewhat of a shock. One member of the custodial staff described the event as probably the strangest thing to happen in the greater Flemington area. Leading theories range from haunted wood to tectonic shifting, but one fraternity is claiming responsibility for the anomaly. Their spokesperson saying, we just moved it, it wasn't that heavy, we can move it back if you like. Maggie, back to you. Intruders on campus, you know what to do. you study with a friend or should you ignore them at all costs we've all asked that question 
Here's Wanda with the answer. Last week, I advised you to try studying in pairs, and it seemed like a good idea. Turn time with a book into time with a friend. A no-brainer, right? Wrong, I'm afraid. My roommate made up a mnemonic device for something on my course, but it was so effective that I can't remember what it stands for. All I have left is decorate my salamanders nightly. And what's that? Sorry, Jesse. Back to studying alone. Shame. Distracted students should pretend that they're listening. What am I going to do with my life? I just don't know. Orb. Huh? What? Come to an Orb Foundation Learning Center and replace your mind with the power of the Orb. Oh, amazing. I'll do that then. Thanks.
We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry. it from us at Campus Radio. Though my day isn't entirely over, I'm heading to the library to finish and start an essay and I may be there all night. But I'll be back tomorrow morning for another show. Hopefully I don't fall asleep in the archive section again. Wish me luck.
is, is it really worth going? Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Welcome to Two Point Radio, where it's a great day. Why? Because I, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, am talking into a microphone. Can you feel it? Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Really, Dennis, if this is off again, I'm going to come in.
and dunk you like a biscuit. We'll check that I'm on the air and be back with more sumptuous sound wave salaciousness after this. <laughs> Students are reminded that this is the fun part. Is it that the youth of today believe they can churn out a radio show from the comfort of their toilet seats? The goal! In my day, one had to work for years making sandwiches and polishing the communication tower before they even let you touch a microphone. There's more to radio than ability, charm, and technological literacy. Eager little autodidacts, the lot of them. Education is non refundable. Thank <laughs> you. 
My darling, albeit slack-jawed nephew Kevin, ushered me through cyberspace and into the world of video games. Yes, I played the latest entry in the popular Meat Wizard franchise for Sir Nigel Reviews. I was lost. I was cold. I was scared. The controller was sticky and the subject matter obscene. While I'm unsurprised that it appeals to the desensitized youth of today, I'll tell you what I told that chap in the deli. No one needs that much ham. One magical gem out of a possible five. Announcement. Hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. At Bungle, we know what young people want in a motor vehicle. Independence. Fun. Wheels. Beaver from Bungle. The car that puts the E in freedom. Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me.
degrees are expensive and education is priceless. the news and the controversies surrounding Education Minister Tarquin Foxbridge, who allegedly blew his nose on official government documents. Stories like this are scandalous. It's perfectly clear to me that a group of students have fabricated the images, somehow, and yet this poor minister faces all manner of backlash and public murmurings. And why? Because he was photographed doing something? I know a witch hunt when I see one. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely.
tends to be a one-way affair, this relationship of ours, and that's how it should be. What do you know about radio after all? Almost nothing, I'd imagine. Still, it's time for that rare occasion where we put you, the listener, at the center of things. I am the aunt to ease your agony, the balm to abate what bites you, the A to all your cues. I am listening. Oh, and we're out of time. We'll get to your problems after this, all right? All right. Janitor required in bathroom. It's time for Agony Answers with me, Sir Nigel Bickleworth. This week's problem is from student Felony Bogdropper, who writes, I've got loads of work but can't concentrate with all the noise in my flat. Well, Felony, I advise that you try a change of scenery. Work in the study. Write in the billiard room, mill about in the converted mill. Why, read in the scullery. Your home is your castle. Utilize all of its many, many nooks and crannies. That's what got me through the hard times. Mm. This is a test announcement, not a real announcement.
Like what you hear? Of course you do. So why not call in and let our producers know? Recent research suggests that over 97% of our listeners are incidental. That is, hearing by accident rather than intent. Collateral Johnnies, if you will. Nevertheless, I have faith that each radio segment, like a juicy needle in a haystack of filth, is found by someone somewhere. Well done to you, today's deliberate listener. The administrator is reminded to stay hydrated. on campus, oh no.
end of year is approaching. It's too late to start trying. Is, is it really worth going? Gray is too gray. That and much, much more coming right up. Mm -hmm. 